Hello everyone. Um, today we are taking a call. Um, is that no, that's not how you do things. Um, <laughs> I never leave home without my mobile. Almost never. Never mind. That is not what we're doing. Ah, oh, well, there, there we go. <laughs> now we're doing that. Hola, sweetie, it's me. Where are you? Hi, Liv. I'm still in Newport. But I'm on my way home. Any news? Yes. You're going to Japan. Japan? I decrypted Reza's notes. Well, most of them. Okay, some of them. I'm still working on it, but I found out that he was investigating Watty Corp. Watty Corp? Really? My God, that's... That's pretty huge. What was he investigating? Don't know yet, sweetie. But he was in contact with two people at Watty, one of whom was the dead girl in his apartment. From his notes, my guess is that after leaving Newport, he would be heading to Watty City on the island of Hokkaido in northern Japan. That's where Watty Corp HQ is located. That's also everything I've got so far, I'm afraid. I'll keep working on Reza's notes, and I'll have more info for you when you get there. You mean Japan? You know, I'd try and convince you not to go, but you seemed pretty set on tracking Reza down, and all signs point to Japan. I know. I have to keep going. I... I can't give up. Not now, not this time. This is too important. If I quit... Is everything all right, Zoe? Yes and no. I'm fine. I'm not hurt or anything, but... Things have happened. Oh, I don't have time to get into it right now. But it'll make a hell of a story someday. As long as you're okay, sweetie. Like I said, I'll keep working on the notepad and I'll call you when you get to Watty City. Safe journey. All right, Liv. Take care. Wow, Noisemaker Deluxe. So tell me about the tower. It is as most things, Azadi. Large, wasteful, and arrogant. I have never seen its like. They are building a ladder to the heavens. Maybe it's a temple of sorts. I may not know a lot about the enemy, but they're pretty religious. To call the Azadi religious would be like calling the sun warm. Their faith is all they have. If we shake that, the war is ours. I don't think that's a viable strategy, Chuan. But it's good to know that they have a weakness. Faith is a double-edged sword. This tower of theirs may be another weakness. When I was there earlier, I noticed they were still building. They have put up wooden platforms for the workers to climb. Scaffolds. Next to the tower? On the tower. If one were to climb it, one might find a way into the tower. Perfect. I need to check it out for myself. That tower must be very important to the Azadi. And like you said, it could be another weakness of theirs. You will go alone. I need to. If there are more of us, it... We are easier to spot. And if you are caught, someone still needs to return to the city with the supplies. That is our mission. That's our mission, Chuan. I'll be back before dawn. Watch your back, Raven. Hmm. Okay, so we are back in Arcadia once more. Um... I just want to say something about the uh, airplane we saw before. Uh, it might seem a little strange that uh, if you have an aerial vehicle, you would expect to find it like high up in the air. Which uh, is kind of the point, yes. Um, but also, there's less, uh, well, you know, 
air resistance and uh, friction and the like uh, up in the clouds. Um, so you go faster uh, while spending, uh, well, while expending much less fuel. So it's fuel economy as well. Um, however, uh, near the surface, uh, well, the ground, that is, the air is quite thick. Um, well, the air pressure is high. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, it's called the surface effect, I think. Uh, basically, if you fly close to the ground, you get uh, a much greater lifting force than you would uh, if you were flying high up in the air. So, uh, well, basically, an airplane that uh, couldn't fly with a given load uh, at uh, normal altitudes could, uh, in a theory, do just fine, uh, well, be able to transport this load um, if they coast the ground. Which is, of course, pretty risky as well, but hey. <laughs> oh, now I am completely failing to leave the room. So, what are we doing tonight? We are not doing anything. You're staying here with Chuan. I'm going out. What? You can't go on a mission without us. I'm not going on a mission, Bren. I'm just taking a walk. Right. And that girl didn't ask you for help. Which girl? The one who disappeared. The one from Star... From that place that we can't talk about. She asked for your help, and you just dismissed her. Well, it doesn't really have a practical significance, so which option you pick here, I think. I'm inclined to explain, so I will do that. Bryn, you don't understand. That girl Zoe, she was asking for the impossible. I left her world behind a decade ago. I swore to never go back, and, and now I can't. Even if I wanted to. There are other matters to attend to. Other people who depend on me, on us, whatever it was she was asking for, she'll have to find it somewhere else. Trust me, it's not impossible. I don't agree. If you hadn't risked your life to save mine, I wouldn't be here now. I wouldn't be fighting on your side, and there'd be a lot more Azadi walking around. You took a chance when you killed those soldiers back then, and it paid off, didn't it? I'm alive, and I'm on your team. It was risky, but it was the right thing to do. It's not the same thing. This is our world. Whatever goes on in the other world, it doesn't concern us. I think you're wrong. But it doesn't matter what I think. I'm still just a kid to you, right? Bryn. Bryn! <sighs> well... Someone's a bit strung up of a drama queen. Oh, hey! Will you need any assistance tonight, April on? I'll go alone. There may not be a curfew yet, but the soldiers will still notice two or three where they would ignore one. That is true, and I need to speak with someone who can supply us with the herbs, potions, and medicines we need. Well, with Torbear in jail and Hamish doing business with the Azadi, Old Town's our best bet, but it closes with the sun. Tomorrow morning, then. First thing. Sounds good, but you'll have to go alone. Chuan and Bryn are taking care of the food tomorrow. Benry may helping them get in touch with some sympathizers. So be it. I shall make inquiries in Old Town in the morning. May the stars shine on you and your endeavors tonight, April on. Or what is it you sometimes say? Break a foot? Break a leg. But I like may the stars shine on you better, Na'ane. So, yeah, Na'ane. She returns in the Dreamfall chapters with a different voice actor. Let's not go bonkers over that. So, we also just found out that Ben Arima has been helping um, April and her little faction. Um, which is nice, I just don't quite understand what we stand for. Uh, 
Ah, I got a little noisy in there. Oh, no blind Bob. So let's go check out that scaffolding. It's that thing we see back to back to the left there. Um, well, I'll be heading there anyway, so don't worry. I'm not gonna miss it. Hi, Guardy Poos. Okay, no problem so far. That fellow might be a problem though. And the animations, they are uh, a thing. Let's see, I don't think I should go through that arch. Ooh. Got a little too dark in there. Okay. Have I just successfully snuck past a guard? Uh, you know, I'll just press control to sneak. For <laughs> just for the hell of it. I mean, if we're supposed to be sneaking, I kind of would want to sneak. <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever. Well, let's see. Just hold on a minute. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, if we do this... Not too far. And I need to find a way onto the scaffolding. God Not damn it. Care of that <laughs> Still fail. <laughs> God damn you game. <laughs> yep, there we go. Uh Okay. I pressed a button I did not mean to press. He's dead. I should get on with it before someone finds his body. Uh, hopefully I can just uh, edit that out and uh, everything will be great. Um, judging by the uh, footage in the Capture software, it seems like everything is okay. Here's hoping that it is. Ooh. Fancy office. Oh wait, did I, did I just see something open here? I did. The door is slightly ajar. If I do that, I'm sure to be noticed. Ah, wait, 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 wait. focus thingy. The delays are out of my hands, Prophet. Rebel raids in the north have impeded deliveries of the necessary raw materials, and further reinforcements from Sadir are not... Of course, I understand perfectly. We will finish on time. We have taken on more workers, and we are making progress by the day. We will reclaim the time lost, Prophet. The tower will stand ready for the inauguration. I swear by the Six that I shall not disappoint you. Sadir has sent an apostle to take care of that particular problem. They say that he is one of the best, though I have yet to meet him in person. He arrives soon. As you wish, Prophet. I will put my most trusted man to the task. Please, I... Yes. You have made that abundantly clear on several occasions. It will not come to that. I will not fail you. All will be as you have asked, Prophet. May the Goddess bless your path, Prophet. Her light will wash across this world and cleanse it of evil. 
That was strange. I should try and follow him. Find out who this mysterious person is. Oh, snap. Elisa, bring me my supper. I shall be dining in my office tonight. Well, that happened. So, um, oh well, yeah, the prophet. Um, he will make an appearance in a threefold chapter, so that we haven't seen the last of him. I don't know how much more we will see of him in uh, this game, though. I saw in the emissary's office. I should follow him. I'd like to find out who this prophet is. Okay. We follow the man. I hope he was walking this way. I didn't actually <laughs> watch at the time, but hey. Everything goes this way, eventually. Oh, yep, I saw you. Mouse control for the uh, camera win. I see no one wearing a cloak. The ambience here in the journeyman sure has changed since my last visit to the city. If you say so. Then Rimei's burned all the forbidden books, and she's bought a bunch of Azadi approved ones. The bars and taverns near the tower are filled with Azadi. I prefer it here. Well, yeah, but I I want to find out about a Benrima? guy in black. Yes, what is... Oh, April. You've returned. Good. Did you want something? Where did the man in the cloak go? Who? The man who just walked through the door. He was wearing a hooded cloak. No one fitting that description has been in here, April. It's a slow night, I would have noticed. That's impossible. I saw him walk in here with my own eyes. Well, I may be old, child, but I am not blind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much to do. I know I saw him walk in here. He couldn't have just vanished. Well. That could be creepy in some circumstances. Let's just go down the stairs and, I don't know, smite rats or whatever. You usually do that in uh, Dungeons and Dragons games, by the way. Just, you know, to clue you in on the reference. I realize. Oh, hello! Well, of course, why wouldn't you do that? Olivia? Yes, sweetie, it's me. Are you <laughs> You're the bad weather. What? You're breaking up, Liv. <laughs> Static's getting worse by the hour. Parts of the wire are down. Can you hear me? Barely. This is crazy. I know. We'll have to keep it short. Any news about Reza? Not yet. But I just arrived in Watsi City. What's it like there? Nice. Chilly, but nice. What's going on? <laughs> Still working. <laughs> Rez has contacted Wati Corp. He protects his sources well. In the meantime, you'll need to find a way inside the corporate campus. 
I didn't get all of that, Liv, but call me when you have a name, okay? Hello? Will take long. The encryption's military grade, but I'm almost there. Okay, that's good. I should get going. Oh, and Olivia? Yes, sweetie? Thank you. I really appreciate the help. Don't be silly. <laughs> Friend too. I'd turn the world upside down to find him. I know. Thanks anyway. The connection's deteriorating, sweetie. I'll get back to work and ring you up as soon as I have something. Bye! Okay. If the music didn't pull you in already, we are currently in Japan. Hype! Um, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, vending machines are a thing. There's only chewing gum left. I don't even like gum. Every pack comes with a special Watty sticker. Okay, that's something. I'll need to use my mobile to make a purchase. Oh. Are we swishing this? Damn. I don't like swish. However, we now have a gum. Gum. So are we going to do something with it or hey, what? There's a free sticker inside. And what is the sticker then? It's a colourful sticker with a cartoon Wattilla on it. It says, Chew You Later. I don't get it. Uh, yeah. I wholeheartedly agree with uh, Zoe's assessment. Oh, hello. We're sort of uh, womanly. Everyone's waiting for Watikorp to reveal what Project Alchera is all about. I think it's a new robot to replace the Watilla. Okay. You have nothing really important to say then. Oh, the animations. It's empty. The dustbin automatically incinerates its contents every ten minutes or so. Should be here by now. Uh, Sumimasen? Huh? Ah. Uh, Gumenasai. I thought you were someone else. I apologize. Hmm. Well, that's actually a nice touch. Um... Um, well, yeah, uh, Sumimasen and uh, Gomenasai are uh, two different ways to say uh, I'm sorry <laughs> in Japanese, uh, meaning in, in different things depending on the con uh, context. But uh, it's a nice touch that they uh, used uh, the uh, actual <laughs> Japanese words that they would use in uh, situations like that. Who did you think I was? Huh? Oh, my fiance, Yuriko. She's late. She's never this late. I tried calling her, but there was just. just static. Ah, who am I kidding? She probably decided not to come. Why would you say that? We've been having problems lately. It's all my fault. How so? I've been too busy with work. I haven't paid as much attention to her as she deserves. It sounds like you care about her. I do. And now I've blown it. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't... I have to leave. Well, uh, let's grab that ticket before it disappears. 
Yeah, okay. That happened. It's a complete ticket. It's just torn in two. Um I have a nagging suspicion. Fix it. <laughs> Jesus, Greenfall. Adventure game logic, I tell you. Let's see. Now we just go to the other side, right? And that's that thing, and there's that other thing. Oh, okay. It's for getting into the cable car and across the canyon to the museum. And shebang! Welcome to Watiko, inventors of the Watela, the bunny bot, and the most popular and advanced entertainment technology in the world. Please take a seat and stand clear of the closing doors. We will be departing shortly. You're about to go on an exciting journey into the heart of Wati Corp and experience the amazing history behind one of the planet's most successful corporations. From the Wati Entertainment System to the Watina and beyond, Wati Corp has provided mankind with love, happiness, and billions of hours of entertainment. And in just a few months, Wati will unveil a revolution in home entertainment with the most exciting new product in our 200-year history, Project Alchera. This is a great time to be part of our ever-expanding happy family. The future of entertainment is Wati Bright. Please ensure that you have all your belongings with you when you leave the car. Enjoy your visit to the Wati Corp Museum. Again? Hey, so do you have a name for me? The name. Told you I'd been Encryption. So, are you inside yet? The line's even worse than before, Liv. I can barely hear you. Hold on. Let me... There. I've switched us over to a classified eye channel. That should stabilize things quite a bit. Of course, the eyes agent software will also light up like a Christmas tree, so we need to be quick. Are you inside Wati Corp yet? Working on it. Add a girl. So, the person you need to get in touch with is one Damien Cavanaugh, with a C. And an A-U-G-H. And an A-V-A-N in the middle. Let's Rezo be quick, you Cavanaugh said. Rio Kuruki, the dead girl in his apartment. Rio and Damien work together. I remember Reza talking to Rio on the phone when I last saw him. So Damien Cavanaugh's the source. How do I find him? He's a resident of Wati City, but he's not currently on the wire. I believe Wati Corp's shielded. Mobiles won't work inside the main campus. If he's not on the wire, he must be at work. Either that or the static's messing things up. We'll have to bet on the former, since I'm already heading into the lion's den. Where exactly does he work? Don't know. I could dig into the Wati databank, but it might trigger some alarms. And we don't want to trigger any alarms, sweetie. I do know that Rio Kuruki worked as a systems analyst in biotech and the Kavanaugh's in software. I'll keep digging, and I'll send you a message if I find any more info on the guy. We should stick to just messages from now on. This connection's too risky, and the static's interfering with everything else. Okay. I will find him. I have to find him. Good luck, sweetie. And be careful. Shit. Agents have locked on. Got to run. Liv? Olivia? I hope she's okay. So much for not triggering any alarms. <laughs> oh, uh, time to end the episode, but first, um, there's one little thing I would like to say. Oh, and that view. Holy hell, in a handbag. Uh, but yeah, uh, getting the ticket, um, there is another solution. Uh, I won't walk you through it, but uh, at the end of that solution, you will have a little girl with you. 
Apparently, yeah, this is supposed to make it easier to get inside. Um, but, uh, well, I'll just have to tough it out, I guess. So, until next time.